Hello, I'm Matteo, the Chief Mobile Opinionist here at Tech Travel Geeks, and this is the Tech Travel Geeks unpackaging or unboxing and review of another Essager cable I purchased on AliExpress. I'll link in the description to where you can purchase this uh, Essager cable. Obviously, it's going to be an affiliate link, and if you do purchase from there, you will be supporting the Tech Travel Geeks here on YouTube. Right then, so Essager, it's a, now a pretty well-known brand. I've been buying their cables on AliExpress for a while. I've had no complaints. And especially with things such as laptops or high-end power banks or smartphones that do require high number of amps, high voltage, uh, these cables seem to perform very well for me. So this time I decided to buy a 100 watt capable uh, cable. This is a 5 amp cable, uh, which is USB Type-C to USB Type-C. Now it's a braided cable, it's soft, it's nice, nice to touch. But the key feature, which I'm going to see if I can get the screen protector off here, is that little screen. And just as the very first Essager cable video we did here on the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel, that is a screen that shows you what sort of wattage you're pulling through the cable. Now, obviously there are many variables involved in setting up your cable to charge at maximum speed with devices. Often we're not in optimal conditions and I'm pretty sure we're not today because my Google Pixel 7 Pro, for example, which we'll be testing out, is still uh, in its low 20s in terms of charge at the end of today. So what I'm going to do is plug the branded and not screened USB Type-C port into a USB uh, power delivery charger that we know can carry a high voltage. Uh, we're going to plug that in there to, in, in specifically that's my Voltme 140 watt charger. And then we'll plug this end with the screen into a few devices to see how it performs. Right then, so. As I said, what we're going to do is take the non-screen side, pop that into the Voltme charger, and we have the cable itself. When it's plugged in and there isn't a device pulling any charge, there is nothing on the screen. And it should come on. I'm at 21% charge on the Google Pixel 7 Pro. It comes on, and we immediately see that it's charging rapidly, and it's now going up to 10, 13, 15, okay, all the way up to 21, 22. It could, depending on the conditions of the device, go all the way up to 30 watts. Let's just keep on eye on it for a few more seconds. But as you can see, it seems to have settled around about 20 to 23 watts in terms of, of throughput. Now, you can see that it has a PD, which stands for power delivery, it's the USB Type-C standard, the open standard for charging, and W means that it's indicating watts. So at the moment, the Google Pixel 7 Pro is pulling 22 watts. And on the device itself, it does say that it is charging rapidly. We're at 22% charge, so it's already bumped up 1%, and it should be completely full in one and a half hours. So good show there. Um, Decent uh, performance on the Google Pixel 7 Pro. Let's try and see what happens with the Google Pixel 6a. Now this is a device that pulls up to, uh, up to 18 watts, but it's only pushing through two or three because the device is fully charged. Right then, next up on our whistle-stop tour of devices that could potentially charge quickly with this uh, USB Type-C cable from Essager. This is the Honor Magic 4 Pro, personal favorite of mine. It's marked as supercharging, so it is charging quickly. And I'm pulling, at the moment, 9, 10 watts. But that should ease up. So that's good to see, supercharging. Um, and there you go, it's gone all the way up to 20 watts now, and it's creeping up a little bit further. So, good showing there with the Honor Magic 4 Pro. 
Honor has a slightly different standard of charging. It's different from uh, the one we saw on previous Honor and Huawei devices, but good to see that's doing. Now, obviously it's great to have all these devices that charge uh, quickly, but one device which I think many will be buying this cable for is a laptop. So I'm going to plug the cable in to my HP laptop, which does pull up to 65 watts, and we'll see what it gets up to. So the Essager cable starts off slow. It should settle after a while. And we're going up to 20 watts, 23, 25. And this is the highest we've seen it yet. It's gone all the way up to 36 watts, 46. And it's just gone past 50 watts. So it's definitely ramping up the charge there. Now, currently the laptop is uh, running essentially on an empty battery, but we see that the, the charger has gone, is now fluctuating between 60 and 65 watts uh, in terms of what it's delivering to the laptop. And I think that in these conditions uh, where we have devices that are not completely flat with uh, decent chargers, with chargers that we know and trust from VoltMe, uh, that's a 140 watt charger. In the single USB Type-C configuration, I think this USB-C cable from Essager is doing a decent job. So good to see that. Overall, uh, I'd say it is a different construction. It is a different setup from the USB Type-C cable with a display in it that we previously reviewed from Essager. This plastic covering is really difficult to get off. I'm struggling to peel it off, even with me having unusually long fingernails at the moment. It's a tough one. I mean, it is, you can see, just starting to peel off. But to see the screen a little bit better, one thing's for sure, they've really packaged this cable very well. Now the reason they put the plastic on the cable end is to avoid scratches to the screen. You can leave that on if you want to. I may have annoyed a few people here but I prefer having it as it is. Now it does come in a variety of colors. In this case I did choose black. Unlike the other Essager cable I got uh, with a display in it, this is not metal, this is plastic at both ends, but it's solidly constructed. The braided cable is nice and solid. It doesn't feel flimsy or, or fragile in any way, and it does a decent job. It is also slightly lighter than the other Essager cable with a display that we've reviewed here on the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel. Great, so overall I can say I, I recommend this cable. Uh, Essager did not send this to us. I did purchase this with my own pocket money on the on AliExpress. But we will link in the description to an affiliate link where you can purchase this cable with a power display in it. If you do purchase from there, you will be supporting the Tech Travel Geeks. Thank you if you do so. And another way you can support us is by subscribing. Make sure you subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks here on YouTube. Ding that notification bell so that you get notified when we publish new videos about consumer electronics, gadgets, accessories, and pretty much anything else we think makes the travel experience better. If you made it this far into this video, thank you for watching this far, and goodbye from me.